Hello everyone, so today's video is going to be an arty themed video and as you can tell by the title I'm going to be showing you my art supplies that I typically use. Now the reason why I'm doing this video is because I've had a few people ask me what supplies I use because I did a watch me paint video uh, of Toad from Super Mario Brothers and I'm planning a few so I thought if I got a few planned in advance I might as well show you the supplies I use because there are a few of them. So let's get started. First up is canvases. Now the canvas I'm using at the minute is for my current painting is this and it's balloon paintings. As you can tell it's a rectangle like a letterbox shape painting. Uh, these canvas, this canvas was from Lidl and I got them in a pack of two for four pounds. But my usual canvases come from the pound shop and I know it sounds like really the pound shop but they are such value and these are these ones. These are the 30 by 40 ones you can get, I think these are, you can get these in like double the size. Um, but they are so good for a pound you can get like four for three pounds or something like that and they work just as well as say for example if you pay ten pounds for a canvas um, other canvases you would have seen me use are circular canvases and i get them from hobbycraft so next up is brushes and the brushes i typically use are golden teflon and they're like these ones very very versatile they just seem to work so well with oil paints and especially with acrylics as well and flow another brand you can use if you can't find golden acrylic a white teflon again these work so well these are ones from hobbycraft and i think these are like four pounds and they really do work so well this is a new pack by the way because when you use white teflon they do get um they do become colourful very quickly <laughs> but they're very very good golden teflon especially flat brushes next up is paint so usually i use a mix of acrylic and oil uh, now the acrylic brand i use are these and these are the caldo brand and as you can see they're in the two pound fifty and this is 250 uh, milliliters these are really really good they seem to last a while for 250 they are absolutely brilliant. The other brand of acrylics I use, and I use these, for, and you might have seen these in a previous video, I use these for kind of testing shades, especially with acrylics, and it's these. And these are only a pound each, so they're really, really good value. Again, for oil paints, I use different brands depending on what I'm painting. My usual brand comes from a place called The Works. I don't usually buy big tubes because I just they're just really expensive and you know you don't really need a massive tube of a colour you don't use it often so this is kind of a used set that i'm going to show you and it's these these are three pounds and they are a set of 14 oil colours and as you can see i've used all the white and they're really really good especially if you're only doing like a small painting Here i'm buying a big tube of oil paint i use a specific brand because you can't get the bigger ones from the works and the brand i use for bigger tubes of oil paint is this but this is de la rona i think that's how it's been on de la rona or dalla rona i'm not sure but these are um the georgian oil color collection this is flesh tint but i usually get a white titanium and it works so so well it blends amazingly and it feels like silk when you paint with it it's just brilliant i do two types of art one is fluid painting and the other is um general uh, portraits or landscapes so for fluid painting i use these to mix my colors with i just use these for mixing it's just cheap tumbler i think these are half pint and they work so good you can literally get them from the pound shop for like 20 pack per pound which is so so cheap but if i'm using oil paint i do put them in uh, paper bowls like these ones i think these are two pound for 30 and literally that is so good when you use these because rather than using a palette, especially with oil paint, you have to move, you have to wash paint off, you have to clean it and it takes so much. But with these, you just get another bowl and you can just start mixing again. To mix paint, you don't want to use like the ends of brushes because if you're using brushes, especially with oil paint, it can mess up the brush. So with that, I use these, especially with fluid painting, if you're mixing your paints, forget it, for example, if you're thinning them, um, these are brilliant and they're lolly sticks. And I got these, I think these were 100 for a pound. But the last thing on the list of my typical art supplies are the pencils I use because when I sketch out painting I don't use graphite or lead pencils because when you paint on them they do smear especially if you do acrylic layers they seem to really smear and in all honesty it sometimes ruins the painting so I just use basic colouring pencils these are from Wilco and I think these are 125 I do have another set if I am doing for example shading underneath it kind of gives me a guide of where to paint and what to paint um, I use a little set from Hobbycraft I got for £4 and that was like 50 colours and that was so brilliant <laughs> so to sketch out I would suggest just basic colouring pencils that's it for this video I really hope you enjoyed this do you have a lot of art videos in mind I'm hoping to do a fluid painting tutorial because someone suggested it and I really think it's a good idea because a lot of people ask you know how do you do fluid acrylic what is fluid acrylic so I am planning on doing um not a tutorial but kind of how I do so yeah it is kind of a how-to there will be an announcement shortly of something and I am so excited about this announcement because it's ready for December it's ready let's just put that so thank you so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed it if you did please give me a massive thumbs up down below and click subscribe button if you are new and you want to see more of these videos but remember if you do subscribe to click the little bell so you can be notified of when i upload new videos so thank you so much for watching and i shall see you next time bye 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 bye